I go live on my YouTube channel, which is this channel right here. And I listen to your guys' music usually every Saturday, sometimes Friday. I mess up sometimes. And a consistent thing I hear is a lack of depth in your vocals. So I figured I'd just make this video so I could just tell y'all to watch this <laughs> rather than, you know. But also, uh, if you guys do want me to listen to your music, just subscribe to the channel. It'll give you a notification every time I'm live, Friday or usually Saturday. <laughs> anyway, so I have this song pulled up. It's an older song of mine, which is already released. Oh. I know, the promo is crazy. So it's a song called Rick Ross, and I have the, just the main vocals loaded up here. It's a pretty swag song, but I could be biased. Who knows? You let me know. <laughs> but we're just gonna go over some cool techniques on how to add some more uh, depth to your vocals. And what I mean by depth is just pretty much make your vocals stand out more. Overall, create your own sound, create your own style, all that fun stuff. We're just gonna be experimenting with some cool stuff. I have some stuff jotted down and uh let's just have fun so right away i as you could tell i'm using my uh, gutter main preset pack i'm gonna throw this flp in the preset pack so you guys can have this on your screen as well so we're gonna play what the vocals sound like without any mix first it's gonna sound pretty terrible just a heads up i don't have a great natural voice some people are blessed with that i am not so uh let's turn the preset off hey i'm throwing a rest right up in the air little bitch i'm going down i feel like big rice i like pears bitch i'm eating now okay not good you can understand that we're gonna throw on my gunner preset pack uh and magically hey i'm throwing a rest right up in the air little bitch i'm going down i feel like big rice i like pears bitch i'm eating now hey Super swag. We're gonna go over the super, super basics uh, just to get them out the way. A really basic thing to fill more space in your song is just add some delay to your vocals. I know, shocker. But just adding a little bit of delay, I just use the free delay three. It's pretty swag, I don't know. Hey, I'm throwing a rest right up in the air, little bitch, I'm going down. I feel like Rick Ross, I it just fills that extra space and sounds really nice. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna get more into this, but I like to add a little fruity chorus in there. Um, maxed out, it sounds like this. But if we turn it down, it almost adds a little stereo separation. It's really nice. But um, let's break down into my freaking notes. So number one, we have layers. I've already recorded some layers prior to this, so um, it just makes it easier. I'm going to go over it very briefly because I have an entire video already dedicated to this exact feature, which you could watch right there. Layering vocals is pretty self-explanatory. You just record multiple vocals and then just like have them sit under each other, have a main vocal and then have a bunch of ones under it. Doubling is typically when you just record two vocals, pan them left and right, and then you have one, like your main vocal sitting in the middle. So it just sounds really spacious and nice. And uh, I did doubles for this. So, so you can see right here, I just have them panned uh, around 70% on the left and then the right. Uh, and then I have them both linked to this um, EQ that just cuts out a little bit of low end. I like to cut out some low end, especially if I'm using a lower voice, which I did for this, but uh, yeah. Hey, I'm throwing a rest right up in the air, little bitch, I'm going down. I feel like Rick Ross, I like Paris, bitch, I'm eating now. Hey, and they trying to come up to my place. Yeah, they want to say that shit to my face. Hey, I made a whole lot of bang today. Little bitch, I'm living I'm good. It's pretty nice. And then this part over here, it also sounds pretty good too. Bitch, I'm living good. Yeah, I see what it is. I see what it is in. Yeah, just look at my ribs down. And then we add the beat in there. Bitch, I'm living good. Yeah, I see what it is. I do this with a lot of my music. I think it sounds amazing. It's a really universal effect used in pretty much every genre ever. It's great. Layering is amazing. So I rendered out the vocals onto a separate track just so we could kind of manipulate it. And uh, let's drag it over to what do we have open? Track two. And I kind of just wanted to show you in depth. Uh, I call this the alien section, whatever the fuck. Essentially, it's just chorus, flanger, and flangus, or like a phaser, whatever you want to, whatever. But these are really basic effects that pretty much every single DAW has and don't use it for the entire song you know too much of a good thing is never a good thing so just use like a tasteful amount hey, I'm doing it rest right up in so that's hell, full blast what are you if you're wearing headphones you can notice a subtle difference it just adds a more widening sound but uh let's go over to flanger hey i'm throwing it rest right up in the hell bitch i'm going down i feel like big rice i like pay bunch of different cool presets hey, you can even throw this on the master or something have this as like a cool little breakdown for some part of the song a lot of people do that especially in underground rap uh let's move over to flangus real quick hey i'm done it rest right up in the hell bitch i'm going down i feel like big rice i like pay I would say, typically speaking, if you're gonna really lean into that sound, use that for like ad libs. Next up, we're gonna be using this plugin called Vocal FX. Uh, it's a pretty swag plugin, not gonna lie. Uh, there's a bunch of different colors and whatnot you can use and different presets and stuff. 
We're just gonna use, let's use the blue one. Uh, it comes with a vocal preset installed to it, so you can turn it off if you want. We're gonna turn it off because we already have one on. So, so right away we have some delay features we can use. Pretty swag, pretty cool. Basic stuff, but it's nice to have. Distortion is a big one. I love me some distortion on some vocals. It sounds really cool. You know, just lower the volume now. And you can mix and match them too. Different types of distortion. Uh, the alien stuff, this is mostly like. A bunch of different cool sound effects like that. Choir is pretty sweet as well. It makes it sound like there's a bunch of you going on. And then there's like some stuff down here. There's like a ghost reverb. Oh, uh, some reverb, obviously. Big crush knob. I love Big Crush, man. There's something about it. It's just like... It sounds so sweat. Hey, I'm doing it rest right up in the air, little bitch. I'm going down. I feel like Rick Ross. I like pain. little noise gate there. Pretty swag. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's that plugin. It's really swag. Really cool. It's pretty much just like an all in one. It comes with a vocal preset. There's even like a like. Hey, I'm doing it rest right up in the air, little bitch. I'm going down. I you know, feel like Rick Ross. I like filter at the bottom there. There's so much stuff, and it comes with a bunch of different skins and whatnot. But yeah, if you want that, logander.com. I'll put that in the link in the description. There's also this plugin from AutoTune uh, that's really cool. If you buy AutoTune, it comes with a whole package of other stuff which is pretty cool and i found this one in there that i am not gonna lie i'm working on a lot of new music right now a lot of new music will be coming soon this is one plugin called avox throat it's so swag to me i don't know if it'll sound good on this song but we're gonna try it out i like to click on the level matching button and then just drag the breathness up it just adds this like high saturation to your voice hey i'm doing it rest right up in the air little bitch i'm going down i feel like rick ross i like pears bitch i'm eating now that was pretty cool on this song, but if you use it with like some like more sad, distorted kind of stuff, oh, sounds great. Uh, and then this one goes without saying, but I'm gonna put it in there anyways. Is obviously fucking ad libs, man. You need ad libs. But yeah, there's a bunch of different ways you can make your song sound unique, different, add a lot of texture and depth to your music. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to come from the mix. It can even come from the way you write and stuff like that. Your, mostly it comes from your vocal inflections. And then, but yeah, if you guys like the song, it's Rick Ross. Jonathan is out. Uh, if you want my vocal preset, it's the Gunner's Vocal Preset Pack. It's one of our best selling presets, which I think is really cool. The vocal effects plugin is, oopsie, vocal effects plugin in the freaking link in the description auto tune if you want auto tune i'll put that in the link in the description as well pretty much everything just look at the description uh drop a sub and i'm gonna see you guys in the freaking next one